everybody, it's Matt with Pelican Tacos. How is it going today? I got a couple giant chests to open up and a little preview of something coming up with level one, baby. Here we go. So giant chest coming right off the bat. Right from my Pelican Tacos 3 account. We got a couple milestones for me today, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna hopefully get some really good stuff in this giant chest. What do we got? So dark goblins, 23 barbarian huts, and 273 Teslas. Not too bad, that's all right. So looking here, really excited about this account. Looking at 40, 24 as a level 10. Super exciting for me. I love that I've gotten this high. This is, I've been pushing for the 4,000 mark for a very, very long time. Too bad the, uh, the trophies just got counted last night. So no big deal, but sitting at 40, 20 with 403 crown wins, 13, 16, nine wins as well in total. So all the way up to 4,024. I wonder how high it can get. I have no clue. I don't know what the record for a town hall or for uh, level 10 is but we'll check it out and we'll see how far we can push up higher as a level 10 i am sitting with 13,000 uh out of 30,000 so i have got a long way to go i will be at a level 10 for quite a long time so let's switch over to my pelican tacos my other account as well also a level 10 let's do that here real quick all right, this is my regular account. This is my little bit lower account, sitting at 15,000. This one I've just not felt very comfortable with the troops that I've collected. And uh, the other one I've definitely got a lot higher. My high on this one is 3,564. So I'm 500 trophies less and uh, that's okay. We're still building this one up, that's all right. But I got a giant chest here for us. So let's open that guy out. Let's see if this is any better than my other one. More gold, which is nice. Sitting off with one baby dragon, thank you. 31 dark goblins, that's really, really nice. And 272 archers, all of which I don't really use for the most part. Dark goblins have been trying to implement into my strategies and they're very, very fun to use. Check out my other dark goblin video if you haven't yet. So sitting at 3353 on this account. New clan chest update just came out last night. It is uh, three days now as opposed to a week long. And it is going to be every week instead of every other week, which is really, really nice. So let's switch over to my Pelican Tacos 4.0 level one account give you guys a preview of that all right, here it is, Pelican Tacos 4.0, sitting at 1702 in Builder Arena. And this is awesome. I'm really, really excited about this. I can get the Sparky and the Miner, which I'm hoping for. I did buy the $5 little bonus pack here for whenever you get into the Builder's Workshop Arena, which is pretty cool. And I did not get anything out of the medical chest. That was really, really, I didn't, I didn't even get a tornado or a golem or anything. So I'm hoping to get those pretty quick out of my free chests as well as the crown chest in there but this is my highest and uh, this is the battle I've been at I added the log I got that in um, a legendary chest which is very very cool and uh, there it is that was my big final battle against the level 7 uh, against Toby Pico but here it is 1702 as you guys know I'm the Town Hall 2 world record holder in Clash of Clans and I thought man what would it be like to get the level 1 record in Clash Royale I don't know I don't know that I can get it because it's going to take a lot of of money I think to get those legendary chests and we'll see how that goes whereas in Clash of Clans I didn't have that I didn't need to spend a lot of money to get up there I just needed to spend a lot of time doing it so we'll see this is my current deck right now with the giant skeleton uh, prince witch baby dragon skeleton army having that lightning there just for a little bit extra the freeze as well as the, the log so one of the things that I did not have for the longest time were the giant skeleton and the baby dragon it took me quite a while to actually get up this high and if you see I've got 102 three crown wins out of 157 wins a lot of wins actually for this high I really really was hoping to get up here much sooner the last time I did this I did not get very high I got maybe to I know I did not get to spell valley I was in Pekka's playhouse I think I got into the 1100 1200 range but now it's much easier so many more people are playing and uh, and I've just got a lot more experience than I did when I did this uh, less than a year ago so we'll stick with this guys this is it if you haven't checked me out on Twitter or Instagram please do so it's it's just Pelican Tacos. And uh, we'll be coming more with uh, level one videos here since I am able to, hey, you know, battle in Builder's Workshop. This is pretty sweet. All right, let's do it. Let's battle. Let's see how we do it. See, first battle officially in Builder's Workshop. All right, pretty good start. I do have the witch. He's going to bring the witch out, and I'm going to drop in the skeleton army. As soon as that witch locks onto my building, I can drop everything down there, and I'll take her out pretty quickly. Now, if he's got, I'm going to drop in, I think, the prince, and then the log will be really, really helpful. So the nice thing about the log is it only takes 
two elixir. And as long as he can get one hit, yes, that is awesome. Boom, nah, I was hoping that he would drop in something else on top of that, but that's okay. I am gonna be bringing his building down fairly easily. Now I need to get the prince or something else on top of that giant, otherwise he's gonna take me out pretty quickly. Rage on the giant! Let's see, this takes out 650. I'm wondering if I should just let him take that building and then, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him take that building. And let's see, is he gonna get it? No, he's not, but that's okay. Ah, <laughs> that didn't work, so we know what we're gonna do now with the skeleton army. That's gonna be really, really good. He's gonna bring in his Hogarida, which is not gonna get there. But if I can bring in my prince, baby. Go for the other side here. Is he gonna have something else? He's not. He's just gonna let me take that, and I've got the freeze spell, and uh, I'm gonna freeze his there we go. He's going to rage it. It's not going to do anything with the freeze. So that's really nice. Now, the thing about this is one more. Oh, he didn't use his zap. One more zap on my building is going to take it out. So let's see if we can go after the other side. I do have to prepare at this point because he's obviously his troops are much higher than mine. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to have to just let him take it, unfortunately. Probably was a waste of that log, but that's okay. All right, I'm doing okay right now. He only has the zap, so he hasn't used it. Well, he probably has it cycled all the way back through. But let's bring our... Ooh, there we go. That's nice. Ah, oh, look at that! <laughs> I just split up the minion horde. That was awesome. That was so good. And I'm going to be able to get that tower over there in the corner, which is really good. He does have that knight behind there, and I need to go... And I think if we can get everybody up there, this huge push right here is going to be very, very good. And there it is right there. Another level seven. Moving even higher in Builder's Workshop. Yes. Love it. This is so good. First chest actually in Builder's Workshop, which will be nice. Giant chest. Let's get this silver chest going. And let's get that Arena 6 chest all the way up there. Sitting at 1732. That is now officially my record. So, hey guys, that is it for today. This is Matt with Pelican Tacos. Definitely check out some of my other videos. Have some Clash of Clans, old Clash of Clans videos, as well as some other Clash Royale videos that will help you out. All right. Pelican Tacos out.